there was certainly plenty of spark on the field in the Highland Derby. Inverness off the back of two straight defeats, one by Foran, and then Nick Ross with a really good opportunity. He just couldn't get a connection on this ball. Really well won by Foran. And the first really good chance of the game. And it falls to the local lad. Graham Shinney tries to search out a teammate. It's going to drop for Ross, who finds the back of the net, but the flag was up. It was Richie Foran who was caught a little early, and he certainly challenged for the header before Nick Ross put his half volley beyond Mark Brown. Nine of Ross County's ten points this season have come in Dingwall. Nicely done by Deleu Lucassen. Plenty power, but well off target in the end by the Dutchman. The two Dutch players combining. Lucassen finding the space for the shot, but couldn't get the accuracy. Still awaiting his first goal for Ross County. Along it goes. Ben Gordon can complete the clearance. Up goes Lucassen, who won the first one well, and then Ross Draper came in. With his challenge, and Lucassen goes down holding his face. This Highland derby kicking off a little. A disagreement between the two sets of players. Ross Draper protests his innocence. Lucassen was certainly strong in that first challenge against Foran. And Draper led with the arm, and it comes down to how much contact there was. And John Beaton feels it's just a yellow for Draper and also for Mikhail Kovacevic. And there's a little afters too between Lucassen and Draper. He's not quite finished yet. Meekings. That's McLean and it was bound for his own net before Mark Brown leapt across his goal. It's a good save by the goalkeeper. He was at full stretch there, and Watkins came in to challenge him to. Well, during the half-time break, there was the first of three floodlight failures, sending the Global Energy Stadium into darkness. After a 10-minute delay, the Ross County players made their way back onto the pitch out of the dressing room, only for a recurrence of the same issue. Torrential rain had fallen all day in Dingwall, and it was cited as the reason behind the problem. And with Inverness coming back out onto the pitch, the lights went off for a final time. And at that stage, it was announced that the match had to be abandoned. That left the travelling support with the solace that at least they only had a short trip back across the Keswick Bridge. The fixture will now be rearranged for a later date in the calendar. <laughs> Subscribe now for free and catch all the action on SPFL YouTube.